This is video number four on how to disassemble your Honda engine. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to take off this coil pack. Now if you notice, to do that you've got to take this bolt out and this bolt out which you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. Now, before you do that, you probably ought to get your feeler gauge which looks like this and I, you probably can't see it so well on the camera but it says eight thousandths. Okay, and eight thousandths is where is where the uh, I think it's where you're going to want to be with this. Okay, so I can slide my gauge in there between the coil and the flywheel, and this gap is important for when we put this thing back together. Uh, it can't be too far forward because then it will scrape against here, and it can't be too far backwards because then it won't get the signal to send to the spark plug when to fire the spark plug, okay? But we'll talk about that when we put it back together. Now, the one thing I did was I took some um, fingernail polish and I painted around the sides and that's going to give me an idea about where it's going to be. Now, I've already taken this thing off and there's two flat washers you don't want to lose. sitting underneath of it, okay? So you got these two washers that sit underneath. And if you look at these washers, they're thicker than a normal washer. So you can't, if you lose these, you just can't go put normal washers in there. It needs to be that thickness for this to work correctly. All right. I'm gonna take this and put it in my compartment with my two nuts and my two spacer washers. Okay. So now I got the coil off of there, okay? And like I said, the coil, it controls the spark to the spark plug. It play, that took the place of distributors uh, on automobiles. Automobiles used to have distributors that would spin around and tell and say when each one fires off. A uh, distributor looks just like this right here, actually. This is what a distributor looks like. It's got all these spark plug wires coming off. And inside that distributor, it's got a rotor button and it hits each one of these and then each one goes to a different cylinder okay and that'll be called your firing order this right here is the coil this right here is where it gets its spark from okay the energy for the spark I should say all that you just saw right there basically got put into this so you don't have any moving parts um, they're a lot more simple to replace okay now, this right here is your rocker arm, and behind that, that's a push rod right here, and this right here is your valve. Well, the next thing I want to start doing is I want to start taking these rocker arms off. So in the very front, you have a 10 millimeter nut. So you, you need to get your 10 millimeter socket out. Take that off. I'm just going to place that right here. And then... You grab your 14 millimeter and you take this one off. Okay. And when I do that, here comes your rocker. Okay. Now, this right here would be in a, this is right here is a push rod engine, and this engine up here is an overhead cam engine. So this doesn't have a push rod, okay? So basically the, the rockers in this one are called tappets in an overhead cam engine. Okay, so I'm going to just place that right here for right now. Then I'm going to take out my push rod. Now, if you look, this push rod, just a metal bar. In automotive application, you're going to have a little hole right here. And what the little hole is for is for oil to transfer through. So that way it can hit on the back of the rocker. So if you look, this rocker's got a little indentation on here. That's for your push rod to sit in. 
And like I said, in automobiles, they have a hole in either end most of the time, and then that puts a little lubrication up there, okay? All right. Now let's do the same thing to the bottom one. Okay, now I'm taking, that's my top one, For right now I'm going to put my bottom one right here, okay, and now I'm going to take this push rod out, and when you're looking at this you ought to inspect it, this thing is bent or cracked or deformed, then that means you should replace it. Okay, got our rockers off. Now let's get these studs out right here, which you're going to need a deep 12 for, I think. Yep. And they're going to be tight, so you're going to have to put one hand on your engine. Uh, you, you may want to think about taking a screw or something and putting down through here and screwing your engine to the block. Uh, it's an idea. But if not, you just hold it one hand like this. Okay. This head bolts are pretty tight. It's supposed to be. Okay. All right, this piece right here holds your uh, rockers in, in line and in place. Um, so we want to make sure we put it back on there just like that. It's got the little cutout for that little angled piece right there, the little piece sticking out. Okay, so it fits on there. And basically all it does is it's basically a rocker. I don't know what you would exactly call it, but I would maybe call it a rocker. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, a push rod guide. Okay, so if you look, I'm trying to take the cylinder head off from the block. That's my goal right now. And if you look, I got a bolt here, 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 and here. And I think we're going to remove those in the next video. Okay, stop right here. Show me that you got your rockers out. Make sure you do not mix these up, okay? Uh, in some engines, push rods are different lengths. So you definitely don't want to mess your push rods up. But the general rule of mechanics, real quick, is if it came in here like this, it should leave like this as well. So what that means is your engine will always run better if you put your same piston back in the same cylinder. Make sure you put your same, if you're reusing your rocker, there's nothing wrong with it. Put it with the same one that it came out of. Uh, as a general rule, that is uh, how you make sure that your engine is going to run the best. So whatever pieces came off of here, you need to put them back on there in the, in the order and in the place they were for best results. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, contact me.